ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved, the Frozen Factory DLC. We're now on day number 10, and happy Easter holiday weekend, everybody! Yay! Happy Easter! I was away for a few days, not that you guys would know, but I was away for a few days, and it was really, really nice. Apparently, poor Jim Bob ended up staying at the uh, at the base for the whole weekend. So He keeps mumbling something about how his family went to Mexico during summer last year. I don't know, poor Jim Bob. <laughs> anyway, so where are we? We are actually on my uh, the, the beginning of our very first watchtower so isn't this nice this is great we actually get a bird's eye view of the base and the surrounding area it's not quite done yet i have a few more pieces to add to this but we can also see how much i've done to the base since the last time isn't that crazy wow it's starting to look pretty darn cool man that looks amazing let's go take a closer look and we will go through some of the things that i have done on my own yeah, see, this is just a watchtower. It's it's totally just for fun. Um, It's a nice little place, a nice little lookout tower to see what's going on. So first things first, before I do anything, I need to change up our research because my research hasn't been going for a while now because, uh, yeah, I'd like to wait for you guys for that. So we're going to grab that metal alloys research and then we're going to go start something else. Let's see what we're going to start. And then I'll go over all the things that I've done in, you know, this morning, which is just an enormous amount of stuff. So uh, hold on. First of all, let's go to research and let's see what kind of projects wow look at all the projects what rolling stock would be good uh so now we have access to better materials we can create automation capable of moving large amounts of resources this i'm actually really interested in because I i've decided against building a whole bunch of a whole bunch of uh conveyor tubes going up to the top and i'll talk about that in a second but if we did mine carts that would be really perfect right now so maybe i am gonna grab mine carts i hope Hold on, what does that require? Just one second here. So that requires 25 Ultimate and 25 Excel. Now, as you can see, I have completed our research assembly line, which is really, really nice. So I don't really have to worry too much about whether or not I have the material because it's really easy to get all that going now. So we're going to do rolling stock. We're going to get that going. I don't know if that's the right choice, but it should go fairly quickly now. Start project. So let's go over the... So yeah, the research assembly area is all done now. <laughs> when I first put down the right side, so we have our gold here. See, I put little signs here. So, uh, well, mostly so I could remember. The, trust me, this is for me. <laughs> so we have our gold here. We have our titanium here. We have our nickel. So all of these are producing the uh, research research pods. They're, they're uh, associated research pods. And then, of course, on the other side, we have our lithium, our iron, our tin, and our copper. So uh, one of the things I did when I first put this down is I put down uh, the research... Uh, assembly the research manufacturing on the right side just like it did on the left side here so I put them on the right side of the wall which was totally backwards because I needed it yeah, anyway so I still have one more to change over and that's just the nickel but I wanted to use up uh, whatever was in this assembly machine before it changed it over but anyway isn't that cool isn't that cool it's all working really really nicely also you can see that I've started to make use of the uh, what are these called the um, the threat reducers the threat reducers are a fantastic piece of machinery. I have four of them going right now, and I think it looks really cool placed right there. It looks almost like a little throne room. Isn't that cool? But anyway, so uh, that reduces our threat by 200. We have four of them out, 50 each. So uh, because right now we don't really need to be attacked. As a matter of fact, it's kind of a pain in the arse. I might even build a couple more to go up there since we're starting to do our research again. Let's do that really quickly. Let's build a couple more threat reducers. They're super cheap. One, two... Three, four. Let's get four of those up right now. Let's throw that on our bar. Yes, uh, get four of those up right now. That way, that reduces our threat by another 200. And the amount of power it's, it uses is worth it. And uh, eventually, it'll get to a point where we want to get attacked. But right now, we don't really want to get attacked. Uh, we, we just can't. We can't process any of the materials anyway. Hey, that looks pretty cool. That looks really cool. So that should reduce our threat by, what, 400-something? A substantial amount so reducing threat by 450 so that's pretty much all the well we're probably going to be using enough power to actually go above that but yeah this is going to go very quick because as you can see all of our conveyors are now full of research pods too isn't that great ah so lovely so our research is going to go super fast all right let's talk about some of the things i have done first of all let's talk about the downstairs area that I started to build. So let's go down here. I've got a nice little elevator going down to our new basement area. This is going to be our ore processing area. And every single research pod assembler has access to our ore area. Isn't this cool? So we can actually, you know, bring in the copper directly into our research pod assembler directly from our processing area. And also we have access to all of our elevators going down to our main areas too. And on top of that, we're going to start using cargo lists. Cargo lists are going to be our main source of 
ore. Like, they're going to be going down and grabbing most of our ore for us. Rather than last time. Last time, what I did is I did... Uh, I did uh, conveyor tubes going all the way down to the bottom coming up, and I'm not going to do that this time. We're going to do cargo uh, cargo list because I think that might be a little bit more efficient, albeit uh, using a little bit more power. So uh, next thing, I oh yes, perfect, yes, actually, oh no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, go up. That's fine. I'll just uh, get out of here this way. Perfect. So that being said, I started building some racks for the cargo lift so i'm actually going to move this assembly so this is the rack railer here and uh, the storage pod containing containing all of that stuff oh am i i'm full up again oh my god ah and the and the file core just stole that hold on let me just unload everything i have here i'm always full uh oh i'm gonna dump a few things that i don't need right now i don't oh these oh right okay yeah, I've got some extra PCBs and stuff that I'm going to have to take care of on my own. Oh, also, look, we have, we're starting to build our storage tree. <laughs> Isn't that nice? We did this last time. I thought, you know what? It, it worked so well last time. We're going to do it again. Let's get rid of this. We're going to get rid of all of these. I will deal with these and turn these into a research uh, pods eventually. Um, otherwise, I think we're good to go here. Let me go grab that thing from the Felcor. Uh, storage, yeah, storage hopper. There we go. So we're going to build the rack railer right on top of the cargo left because that just makes way more sense we're gonna go down here i've already got power coming down onto this thing and let's get our rack railer which is right here this is a thing that builds the rails for the cargo cargo lift uh for, i'm sure lots of you already know that but uh just in case you don't so we're gonna put that right here we're gonna put the storage hopper right here now all of the the power systems are going to change here once we get solar power but that should work and then uh this thing uses iron and power to build the rack rails so let's make sure that we put so hold on let's go e i let's put all of the rack rails that we have built already oh oh i guess they're you know what they're probably ah the stupid falcor system stole it from me i'm sure hold on let's go check maybe maybe they're still here yeah they're still there some of them are anyway 15 rack rails there we go perfect <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to have a cargo lift here. We're going to have a cargo lift here. We're going to have a cargo lift probably over here. So this, we're getting prepared for all of that now. Basically building the infrastructure so it's ready to go when when uh, we can totally start making good use of it. E and then I. Let's get those rack rails over here. And we're going to fill up the rest of it with iron. So let's go like this. And we're going to go, you can hear the power drain out. Uh, okay, so we're going to fill that up. Excellent. So iron and power builds those rack rails. Now let's go back down. And we should be able to start building the rails for this. I'm thinking. Check rail. There we go. We're building rails. Yay! Okay, so this one, this particular cargo lift is going all the way down to the nickel mine. Then we already have started uh, the uh, auto, auto, uh, the auto, <laughs> the auto excavator is already digging out the next hole for the, uh, for the gold mine. Kind of did it backwards. I should have done gold and then nickel, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, so uh, this one's going to be for the uh, nickel, nickel and titanium. This one is going to be for gold. And this one is going to be for lithium. So yeah, we're going to be doing the cargo lifts going down to all different areas. Isn't that nice? That's really, really nice. So anyway, let's take a look at what we got for metal alloys. I'm really hoping that we managed to get... Oh, I wonder if there's anything I need to research because of that. That is possible. So let's go take a look here. So we've got motors. Oh, hardened block assembler. I think I need hardened blocks to build anything now. So it uses a mixture of nickel and titanium to create essential alloy blocks. This is totally new. Um, you, said you didn't have to do this before. This is something totally new. And then you have the alloy block assembler. Gold, bla gold plates harden blocks into alloy blocks. Interesting. So we'll grab that. Uh, toxic particle filter. We're going to grab that. Oh, the build gun version 2. Yes. Yes. Oh, we need that so badly. That will allow us to build the rest of our ore smelting facility. Perfect. And the steel alloy smelter. This will allow us to build steel. Wow, there's so much on this one. Steel cutter head. Yes, please. Thank you. Crystal cutter head. This one uses organics to build another type of cutter head. That's better than the steel cutter head, but uh, it uses organics. And then we have the fusion drill motor. Insert. Oh, insert into an ore extractor. Oh, so this is another improvement to the motor for the drills. I haven't even researched the magnetic. I haven't needed it yet. I am going to grab the work floor ex uh, excavator because we're going to be using that to flatten our land. And the manufacturing plant. Oh, we can finally build another manufacturing plant. And the geological surveyor. That's right. Uh, gives a report available on available resources be behind, or sorry, beneath the surveyor. Used to determine the best place for a quarry. 
You know, I don't think I've ever built a quarry in this game. I don't know if it's worthwhile or not. Oh, advanced machine block assembler. Wow, there is a lot here. Holy crap, there is a lot of stuff to build. Okay, so let's start with the assemblers. So let's just go assemble. Assembler, <laughs> ass, whoops. <laughs> assembler, okay, so hardened block assembler. Okay, we can build that right away. Crafting. Then the alloy block assembler, we can build that right Crafting. away. Advanced machine block assembler, we need steel for that. So we need the steel banner, or the steel plant. So let's find that hopefully easily. Steel. Steel alloy smelter, we need that. Crafting. And I can just build the steel cutter heads from here. Oh, but I need the steel low-grade steel bars. Okay, so let's build all of these things and see what they need. I don't remember entirely. Um, we'll probably build them right here just because we've got some power available to us, and I'm sure all these use power. First things first, let's do our steel. Uh, where are you, Mr. Steel? Mr. Steel? Mr. Steel? Why can I not find you? Oh, uh, or alloyed. Uh, I guess we'll just throw these all on our bar. So, oh, there we go. Steel is right there, too. So we'll throw that on our bar. So let's throw down the steel one first. Let's throw that, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm sure it just uses iron and nickel or something. I don't remember. So throw that down. Uh, no valid attached hoppers. Uh, it doesn't actually say. I'm sure I can look it up. Uh, hold on. We could just go help, too. That would give us all the answers we need. Uh, iron and nickel. That's right. Iron and nickel. Excellent. So, pretty straightforward. So, we can just go... Um, let's go to F1. Let's throw down... Iron. Nickel. All of this is going to change once we get uh, organized here. So, this is going to be remove only. This one's going to be remove only. And this one is going to be... Add and remove is fine. So, we're going to do some iron in here. Three. T. And we're going to do some nickel in here. Got an ample amount of resources, so that should be good. Excellent. So that thing, I can't see it working now, because <laughs> I've hidden it. Oh, low-grade steel bars. Yes, it's, it's working. Perfect. So and then we can take those low-grade steel bars and build that steel cutter head, which is going to be so super important. I wonder, uh, this guy here, let's take a look at the hardened block assembler. It uses mix mixture of nickel and titanium to create hardened blocks. And I need the hardened blocks to build the conveyor tubes, or the tubes, the... Uh, yeah, the conveyor tubes, I forget what they're called exactly, but uh, that's really, really important because we need to build some of those down below, even to connect to the cargo lift. So let's get one of those down to, uh, let's build on the other side. Yeah, that should work fine. So let's throw that down right here in the same fashion. So nickel and titanium, hey? So I've got six, one, oh, oh. Okay, we're going to build that over one. So we're going to build that right here. Perfect. And I know this is sloppy right now, but I'm just getting them down. I'm going to reposition them later. Once I've got my ore smelting facility up, it's definitely going to go in a different spot because this is going to be all automated, right? So let's... Uh, we're getting close to being able to automate everything. So nickel and titanium. Ooh, we don't have a lot of... I'm just going to throw in a little bit of nickel. Oh. You know... No, I'm just going to throw in all of it. Nickel and titanium. 60. There we go. Nickel and titanium. And that should produce hard machine blocks. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. And then the advanced... The advanced block assembler. Let's take a look at that. Advanced... Uh, sorry. Alloyed block assembler uses gold to coat hardened machine blocks. So it is an extension of this machine. Oh, this one needs to be remove only and remove only. Wow, it burned through all of that titanium in like no time. Hold on. Maybe I only put in... I don't think I put in a whole lot. There we go. Perfect. So, yeah, we're going to let that go. We're going to let them build some hard machine blocks. And we've got some steel. Let's grab that. Uh, Low-grade steel bar. Wow, we didn't get very much out of that. Uh, let's throw some more more iron in here. I remember, yeah, this is we're going to burn through. Oh, we need more nickel. Ugh. Man, that's fine. That's fine. I think we've got enough. I will do some more of that on my own. But I'll just grab this here so we don't get a backup. <laughs> I'm starting to build a storage totem. I'm sure you guys, if you watched my last series, remember the storage to totem. It's actually easier sometimes to go like this. Just grab it that way. Super fast. Do, 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 do. Just done. Perfect. I love it. Very nice. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go build some steel heads. Steel cutter heads. I want... Now these... Okay, insert into an ore extractor to improve efficiency to 20%. Um, yeah, so that's really, really important. We need lots of these. The reason that's super important, for those of you that don't know, a regular mine only has 10% efficiency. So if this, if this, if this uh, ore deposit or this deposit of coal has 0.91 million, that means we're only going to get 0.09 
out of it because we're only getting 10% efficiency. That's why adding the steel cutter heads is so important. We get 20%, so it definitely improves the amount of ore that we're gonna get. But the most important thing right now, let's make sure I have everything I need. Most important thing right now is getting those crystal mines going. So I'm gonna need some more, oh, I hope I have the materials for this now. Because <laughs> I used all of my uh, materials to get all that other stuff going. So storage hopper. Wow, we just burn through materials when things start getting heat going, right? So we've got everything we need, I think, to go get our crystal mine going. Let's go downstairs. I'll meet you down there in a second. Right, we're here. So we can finally get this going. I'm going to have to bring power over here too. So I think... So this is going to come across about here. So let's do one of these here and a PSB, and we're gonna do a laser going down so that we don't break that line, and then we can do a laser coming across, like so, and then another laser going directly into the mine. Whoops, right here, and then we'll do three. Excellent, like so, perfect. Now we've got power coming in. Let's get the mines down. My God, this has been, I mean, getting the crystals is so, so important. You can't do anything without crystals. I'm gonna do two mines down here. I've got a couple extra drills, enhanced drills and steel cutter heads, yes! Enhanced drill and steel cutter head. Oh my God, that is so nice. And I wanna do, uh, until we actually get, I might have to do a, I might do another cargo lift coming down this way. Ah, uh, you can see the auto, the auto excavator is actually working on that hole, which is nice. Actually, it stopped up. We might actually actually have to go check that. Um, so we're gonna do, it doesn't really matter. Let's do a whole bunch of these down here. Whoops, uh, we'll just do them up and around like so. And one more right up top. Perfect, excellent. So we finally got crystals. Yay, we finally got crystals. Now these mines are gonna use a lot of power. Hopefully that doesn't drain too much of our system. We might have to start expanding our power coming down here. I was kind of dreading that because I know that's that's gonna be a lot of work. Let's go down and see how our auto excavator is doing. Oh, I don't, do I wanna jump down from here? Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea. It's not a good idea because I'm not gonna be able to use my, no, we're just gonna go down the, the normal way we're gonna go down. Otherwise we might get into trouble. So it's that one's doing, that's a gold mine, so I should be able to get there pretty easily from here. And... Jump! 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 Oh, I missed it! No, come back! I missed the gold mine. Usually I can jump off, no problem. I think it's because I got it blocked off at a spot here. Yeah, I've got it kind of blocked off here. Oh, well, that's okay. So our gold mine, let's just grab the gold here. This is all going to be picked up by the... Oh, yeah, see, I knew this happens to me every time so that's why I'm just gonna keep expanding out this the PSBs this way the sand can't the sand falls down it falls on top of everything and it stops the auto excavator from doing its job there we go auto exca oh, it's totally totally buried totally buried are you operating there we go auto auto excavator is working again bloody sand bloody sand whoa Oh, ah, I didn't mean to do that. I just killed the auto excavator. <laughs> uh, okay, just wanted to clear out some of the sand, but that's okay. So eight, oh, eight, eight. There we go. There, that's working again. So yes, um, the gold is gonna come down. I guess we could, this one's not that far. We could, uh, although I don't know how long this gold deposit is going to last, but we could also grab this copper too. We can, uh, we can have conveyor tubes or a or the uh, mine carts bringing that gold over to here, load up into the cargo lift and then all the way up to the top. Rather than, last time I did it all via, um, I'm just gonna go down and grab the rest, of the rest of the nickel and stuff. Last time I did it all via the conveyor tubes, but they're so expensive. I don't wanna spend, you know, days getting, getting that ready to go. Whereas, uh, oh yes, it's, the mines are actually all the way down here. I spent so much time during my last series on my own grabbing all of the nickel and titanium I was going to need to build all those. It probably took me, I don't know, 24 hours or 48 hours just to get enough material, even to get one line in. It was crazy. But I was also playing on sparse too, so whatever. Anyway, so I'll meet you upstairs in a second. Right, so we finally reached the tipping point for the amount of power that we're using versus the amount that we're producing. We are simply just not producing enough power. You know, trying to run the auto excavator, we're trying to do the rack railer, we're trying to do research, we're trying to build research pods, and uh, yeah, so what's what's happening here now is I'm even running out of power for the, uh, for the coal enrichment plant, which is terrible. So I've had to manually keep 
feeding in power into the uh, induction charger. I've had to manually keep feeding in power into the research pod assemblers, like just coming up here and feeding in power. There's just not enough power and the power transmission is sorely insufficient. So we're just finishing up with the last of the rolling stock research. Yes, there was a little bit of a time lapse there. <laughs> Save you guys the, the pain of actually, uh, you know, waiting for it. So now we have, uh, we definitely need to start working on our, on some more advanced power. So let's go do that. Let's just read what it says for the advanced advanced power grid. That's what we need. The advanced materials we have recently discovered should allow us to make further improvements to our power infrastructure. This is going to require a lot of pods, but we have to do it. We have to do this now. Uh, we're just we're just can't supply enough power unless we re like really build some super big nodes like this. But I'd much rather get into like the the turbine, the turbine power. So let's start the advanced power grid. That's going to eat up everything that we have for power too, unfortunately. And while that's happening, let's do, let's get some of our suit upgrades that I've been dying for. Our build gun version two. Yes, finally, Crafty. build gun version two. Our toxic particle filter, this will, um, <laughs> crafting this allows your suit to filter out dangerous and hallucinogenic toxins from the atmosphere. I can't believe that we've been breathing hallucinogenic toxins all this time but what anyway, anyway let's get that done yeah something else i've been wanting to build like forever is a nano disintegrator i want to test it out so we need two more mark ii boosters i've got a couple ready to go here somewhere <laughs> it's, it's such a mess everything is super disorganized um so control d t there we go we've got two mark ii boosters let's go build a nano disintegrator and we'll test that out for next time because apparently it destroys, yeah, a single-use machine capable of destroying anything it's placed on with used with extreme care. I absolutely want to build that. Absolutely. Maybe we can start destroying some of the resin downstairs, some of the hardened resin. Also, uh, solar panels. I brought up some crystals, and we can finally build solar panels that will help alleviate some of our, our power problems, but not that much. I mean, we can start adding these to anything, really. Of course, even on our research base, which is going to be key. Oh, you know where we could put some of these to kind of help uh, help supplement some power to these research pod assemblers, which might be kind of nice. There we go. Yeah, we can put the... Yeah, that's great. As well as on top of the, uh, the research... The laboratory, of course, which would be pretty key, I think. Well, well, I'll do that next time. I think for right now, I think I want one... Ooh, definitely want one over here, like right about here as well. Um, because I keep... Yeah, the... We're just not getting good power now going into the machine that builds our enriched coal, which provides us power. So that's not good. I think we're going to have to start building totally separate nodes or wait until this uh, advanced research or the advanced power grid research is done and then start building the turbines, which will help us tremendously. And I think that'll also give us access to better lasers as well, which is really important. Let's put our new gun. Let's put our new gun in our suit upgrade panel here. And where's the other one? Uh, the toxic filter. Perfect. Now we have the new gun. Fantastic. The version two gun will allow us to cut through material way easier than we have before, as well as we have the advanced grappler, which should work in the cold zone as well. So we don't have to wait the five seconds as well as being able to move some of our smelters. I added another smelter here and made, this was part of the tipping point as well. When we weren't, yeah, when all the power gets drained from this thing, of course, because our smelters are being powered by our main power node here, um, we're running out of power, even for the extra smelter that I placed down. But this is the last time you're going to see these smelters here. By next episode, we're going to have the smelting division or the smelting plant just below us here in our little area that I've dug out. So that's very, very exciting. And a lot of this schmutz that's up here is going to be going away because uh, I think we'll also do... I think we're still going to use enriched coal, but I think we're going to do a power node just below us in our ore enrichment facility. So I'm going to build that on my own, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll build that with you guys. Maybe I'm thinking about building that right here. So this is going to power everything that's going downstairs. Now, I mean, the turbines are great, but the turbines are very expensive. We're not going to be able to build them right away. And I think we need biomass to run those. I, I don't know. If, I don't remember if we can use enriched coal to build, to run the uh, turbines or not. But we are going to have to start digging for some biomass. You can see on the top right corner, it says extract and refine biomass. Uh, as far as threat level goes, we're still sitting at a nice balmy 135, which means we're hardly getting attacked at all, which is... Great. You know what? We have enough time to test out the Nano Disintegrator. I mean, I'm dying to try it. I'm sure those of you who have not seen it are interested in seeing how this thing works. I am... I don't know if this thing uses power or what. So I 
figured we would test it out on some of this hardened resin that is sort of creeping into our area here. Let's get, uh, let's go right up. I want to kind of get, I don't want to be right beside our, our mine there. So let's try it right on this guy right here. Oh, right, right. Uh, okay, let's grab. <laughs> okay, let's go right here and we'll throw this thing down. I'm, I'm actually a little nervous to use this thing. I mean, what if it explodes? I have no idea. Let's give it a shot. Okay, let's throw it down. Oh, Jesus. What? Whoa. Oh, it turned it all to stone? Or did it just remove it? It looks like it turned, it might have turned the resin to stone. Hey, that's that's a great alternative to uh, waiting for later to remove this. Although, I do know that we, I mean, I know that we can get some materials from the hardened resin, but we don't need that for a while. So I guess if we want to push this back, we could use a bunch of those nano disintegrators to blow this apart. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know, any anytime I get the opportunity to blow something up, I'm pretty happy. Hey, that's a neat little, neat, neat little piece of machinery. Hey, that'd be really handy when you're trying to tear apart some of the ore that you're trying to dig through. Hey, very cool. Anyway, I'll meet you back upstairs. And last but not least, one more thing I've been dying to get built is the work floor excavator, Mark 1. Now this will help me flatten some terrain, but let's get that built now. I do have enough for a lightweight machine housing, and I have enough for three servo motors. One, two, three. And what was that under? <laughs> work floor excavator, there we go. Excellent, let's build that. Now we don't have a lot of power right now, but I don't care. We're gonna get this thing out and start digging away some of this nasty terrain that I don't want sitting around here. So do I have any power storage blocks? No, I don't. Let's just build a couple of them. Whoa, no, 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 don't wanna go down. Ah, honey, no, there we go. Let's build a couple of PSBs. Oh, I do have a power storage block too, but Crafting. no, I don't need that. Ah, uh, that should be good. Yes, so I'm gonna divert some more power over here, and if I remember correctly, it doesn't destroy any of our blocks, and if it does, it's not a big deal, we can just rebuild it, right? But I don't think it does. So actually, I think we'll just start that thing, like, right here. Let's throw that down. Uh, where is it here? Work floor excavator. Let's throw that down right here, and I can start clearing some areas of all this nasty terrain without having to dig it out manually. Now, this thing does require a lot of power, just like everything else. And we do we have the power to run this night right now? Nope, not at all. But, um, <laughs> what? Uh, oh, it's only three meter tall, 60 meters, 60 meters wide. Oh, it is working. You can't tell, though. It is working, apparently. Very, very slowly. I think that's the thing. It's working very slowly, but that'll help clear some of this terrain. I'm going to bring these down to the crystal area as well and help flatten some of that terrain because I've been told that I'm going to need flat terrain down there as well as we're going to have the access to cryogenic research very, very quickly here. We're going to have all that done, so we should be good to go there and uh, we're going to start uh, doing some of that stuff, which is kind of fun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have. Oh my god, so much. I, you know what, may not seem like a, like I accomplished a lot, but I accomplished so much before and during this episode, it's crazy. But we're making good progress, and we'll see you again next time. Alright, take care, bye, bye, bye!